Further debate? Further debate, I recognize the member from Temiskaming Cochrane. Thank you, Speaker. It's always an honour to rise on behalf of the people of Smithsmith Cocker, and I'd like to commend the member from Meshkegawak, James Bay, for bringing forward his uh, private member's motion, uh, Trucker Owner Operator Strategy. Uh, the trucking industry is in crisis, particularly the owner operators. I'd like to thank the government house leader for offering her support. Um, and I take the government house leader's word, but since the government's been, I have approached uh, the member of Nipissing when he was the finance minister, and he offered his support. I've approached the member from Ajax when he was the finance minister, offered his support. I've approached a member of Willowdale as well. And they have all recognized there is an issue, and we need to work together to solve this issue. Now, I'll, I'll give you an example. So, Michelle and Suzanne Milou in Earlton, MMT and Sons Trucking, they operate three trucks, logging trucks. Michelle runs one, and he has two employees who ran the other two. Their insurance is currently, for the other two trucks, 25000 per year per truck, provided they don't go farther than 80 kilometers away from their home. Wow. If they go farther than 80 kilometers, it adds another 4000 per truck per year so they can go 160 kilometers. They have a very good insurance record, and so did their drivers. And they're being driven out of business. And there's a shortage of truckers and trucks. And we all wonder why. I mean, like, we need to act. I really appreciate the government recognizing this, but we need to act on this because small businesses are being driven out of the market and they serve the greater market. In my part of the world, the mills are screaming for trucks. A couple of the big ones have resorted to doing, providing their, their owner, their, their self-insuring. But that is also not a solution because that ties you to a certain mill and takes away your independence. This is an issue. Another business in my riding hand. GAPL storage, mentioned by a member from Meshkegawak, James Bay, a container business, a father and son business, and a, to a farmer, that just, right? But it's being threatened because the son is uninsurable. He needs to go work for a big company for three or four years to build up an insurance record. That'll close the business. That will close that business. The things that we all we all claim to stand for small business, the backbone of this province. And here are small businesses facing a problem. Year after year, they're being driven out. I'm told, well, facility isn't, no, facility isn't an option. These people need our help. Insurance? has a government regulation component. And in this case, it's not that these people don't want to pay for insurance. They want to pay for insurance. They want to pay a reasonable price so they can stay in business. I commend the member from Meshkegawak, James Bay, for putting forward this motion. And I commend the government for supporting it. And now, let's hope this motion just doesn't get lost because we need to fix this one, because we need those trucks on the road. We need those people working. I think there's one thing that we can all agree on, is we need those people working. Thank you, Speaker.